What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are on My Little Worms English. I'm not going to be doing the whole thing because if I did, um, we'd probably be here for at least an hour to two hours at max. And I want to try to keep this video fairly short so I can make multiple videos on this. Because I'm actually interested in doing more MLP AUs, the horror stuff. And uh, we're going to be looking at the first 10 chapters here of My Little Worms. And we're going to be uh, looking over it. Because I was recommended to look at My Little Worms, if I'm correct. So let's look at it. Uh, chapter 1 of My Little Worms. First off. Do that. Part 1. Symptoms. But first, let's read the description up here. Chapter 1 of My Little Worms, made by Maddie Gabba's GF. Um, it says symptoms. Hold up. There it is. So, we got part one, which is the symptoms of My Little Worms. I just hope that this situation is nothing serious. Until then, I will try to keep the rest calm. And I will have to wait for my horn to recover and regenerate from that. Until then, I will not be able to use magic for this. I spent all day and night trying to find or perform a spell that could stop this. But on top of that, I over exploded a lot. I'm a little exhausted. Now that I'm a princess, the whole load is coming to me. Apparently they demonstrate certain somewhat aggressive behaviors, excessive hunger, insomnia, irritation, symptoms that I, I have seen so far and that have been reported to me. Day one. I don't know what's happening with the rest of the ponies. That's it. Okay. Chapter two. I have been continuing my investigation regarding what happened. It's been a few days. It seems quite strange to me. Perhaps this could be caused by a new virus. I started to observe the behaviors of my friends these days. They've been really weird lately. What caught my attention the most was the big spot on Rarity's eye. She never wanted to tell me what happened to her. She grabbed her hair to the point of pulling out a few strands. She seemed quite stressed. By the way, this was what I was able to attach about the pony's behaviors and symptoms. There's a notebook. Uh, stress, hunger, insomnia, hallucinations, dementia, irritability, spots on the body, body aches, and decomposition of the body. But that's crossed out. Okay. Visit Rarity on day five. Twilight, sorry for coming to bother you again, Rarity. I just wanted to know how you were feeling. I'm great, honey. Don't worry so much about me. Have you seen the others? I think they are even worse than me. They seem crazy. They have undoubtedly lost their sanity. I don't know what is happening, but I hope they find the solution quickly. Have you seen my cat? Twilight, sorry, I haven't seen him. By the way, regarding your stains, Rarity lunges at Twilight and leaves a small wound on top of her snout. What the fuck are you insinuating? Uh, sorry, what were we talking about? Doesn't she know what she says or does? Oh, Rarity's infected with the uh, My Little Worms virus. I thought I was going crazy. I had just seen with my own eyes how little worms were coming out of Rarity's eye from those holes they made themselves. They were eating her alive. Yikes. Okay. So, maybe. I don't know. Got Twilight looking a little scared here. I realized that the reason she was pulling out her hair was because of the itching of the worms residing on her head. What if worms really are the cause of all this? A parasite. What will the ways be for this parasite to spread? I have so many questions now. At least Rarity was a little help. I got more information about it. Because of the wound, Rarity gave her... And if this parasite slash virus spreads through contact between an infected person and someone healthy, I guess I'm already infected. I still remember the way Rarity would ask about Opal, her cat. So that when I leave, I realize this. Rarity had eaten her cat. What the fuck? 
Okay. Chapter five. You know what? Maybe I'll read a few more chapters. I think if we blow through this, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll go as long as we can. Maybe this started due to contact with animals. They are a great source of parasites if we look at it that way. Someone was also in the place where Twilight was. They approached her to talk. Twilight. Oh, it looks like Fluttershy's infected. Please help me. They say I'm infected, but I don't show any symptoms. I'm not infected. I was with Pinkie Pie. I was helping her with things at the bakery, and out of nowhere, she started yelling at me about my injury. I think that said injury, right? Yeah, injury. How did you do that to yourself? Flashback. If it really was done by someone infected or had some contact who had the plague, Fluttershy is undoubtedly infected too. Fluttershy is nervous. Uh, Pinkie Pie even tried to bite me. Did she just avoid my question? How did she try to bite you? Scene of Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie at the bakery. Fluttershy, I'm very hungry. Get out of me. Stop. Looking at me like a piece of meat. There is a lot of food here. Do you think this shit is going to fill me? I need more than just a piece of bread. I've always wondered what pony meat tastes like. You're crazy. You fucking disgusting. Don't come near me. So it appears as if the, um, the virus makes them highly cannibalistic and craving of meat. Very interesting. Oh, the music's disturbing. That's what happened. After that, Fluttershy remained silent for a few seconds. I ran out and got here until I saw you and Spike. So Pinkie Pie is also infected. Fluttershy, I am not infected. In case you're not, I am. I've been getting really hungry this time. Even my head hurts. And Spike has the same spots that Rarity had. Spike is exhausted. His health is very low. I can see the little health bar. He's very fatigued. His hunger is very high and his health is very low. He's been quiet this whole time. When he tries to speak, it's like his vocal cords have broken. And you're Fluttershy? You still haven't answered my question. How did you do that? I don't know how I did it, Twilight. She says it so calmly, but from her expression, it's like she knows she's lying to me. What would she do it? Why would she do it? Is she afraid that I'll do something to her? Please don't look at me like that. Spike tried to speak, but could barely modulate. Twy... Spike paused when speaking. They hurt. Eyes. Yes, I feel something inside, inside, inside. Eyes. Spike? The music's gonna get creepy, I see. Yeah, more creepy music. Spike just vomited up a bunch of worms. Ew. That was the reason why he couldn't speak. They were eating him up inside. Spike just nods. Are you okay, Twilight? I'm hungry. Oh, it looks like spots are forming on her legs. She's drooling. That's not good. What is that on the floor? Can I eat it? I want to eat it. At Rarity's house, there's the cat. What are you doing here, Pinky? I'm too hungry, Rarity. I'm hungry. I have nothing to give you. Are you insisting that I ate my cat? Do you think I'm crazy? Just a little bit, Rarity. Or just a little bite, Rarity. Pinkie Pie can't resist anymore. Takes a bite. Big piece of Rarity's skin off. Oh, good God. Son of a, what's wrong with you? Why did you bite me? Degree of infection, medium high. Dear God. It looks like, um, Rainbow Dash is very tired, but she doesn't look like she's really infected. I need to get tired so I can sleep. I don't sleep for days. I feel my eyes throb. I need to go faster. Faster. Rainbow Dash got a few injuries in a very bad fall, broke a leg and even broke her wing. Yeah, she looks hurt. Shit. Damn, how it hurts. Now what do I do? I can't fly with my wings like that. If I stay here, I'll die of hunger. There aren't even ponies near here. And in the case of desperation to want to sleep, it ended up making things worse. Shit, shit, shit. Twilight, Spike, and Fluttershy. Or with Twilight, Spark, and Fluttershy. 
I am infected. I don't know what I'll do. It all depended on me. Did Spike tell me something? You didn't say anything, right? I'm starting to get delirious. I don't think it's a good idea for me and Spike to be around you, Fluttershy, especially if you say you're not infected. Spike looks at them with anguish. Spike spoke as if he were to just learning how to speak. Could I lock us both up, investigate away? Spike is right. As long as the infection is not so serious, we can continue investigating. You could tell us what is happening and we will give you our progress. Okay. I see. Applejack looks very sane. Well, not very sane, but she looks fairly healthy. I've been hiding in this place since it all started. It's a recording. The ponies are crazy. Everyone is crazy. I don't even know where my family is. The last time I saw them was before people started screaming like crazy and started attacking each other. What if they attack them? No, you have to think positively. My family is strong and I know they will be fine wherever they are. There's a loud sound. What was that? Damn, how can there be no one around? Shit, there's a cabin hidden there among the trees. I just hope there's someone who can help me. Or maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe the pony or whatever is there is not a good person. So, Applejack and Rainbow Dash are going to reunite. I really don't like that whole TikTok thing where it just constantly, like, auto-scrolls. That's real. Oh, okay. I can turn it off here. Good to know. It sounded like someone had fallen. A sharp thud. Are there really people nearby? What if they are infected? But it would be very bad of me not to help them. I don't know what to do. It could infect me. It's dangerous. Someone desperately knocks on the cabin door. Please, is there anyone there? I'm hurt. I need help. I don't want to die here. Rainbow? Did she say? She's hurt? Insomnia and dementia. Health is 40% and her hunger is 67 and she's 100% fatigued. What the hell do I do? Do I open it or not? It's your turn to choose. You can choose yeah or no. Okay. What? Auto scroll is off. Knock that shit off. Applejack decided to open the door. Rainbow, what happened to you? Look, you are my friend and I love you, but there will be conditions here. You will stay in a separate room. I will go see you from time to time. I will heal your wounds. I will feed you. I will try to make you better, but do your part too. If you try to attack me, believe me, I will not hesitate to defend myself, Rainbow Dash. This will be your room here. You will stay until you get better. Applejack carefully cleaned and bandaged Rainbow's wounds, fed her and gave her pills so she could fall asleep. Rainbow Dash feels better. Her health is 49%, her hunger is 30, but she's still not, she's a little tired. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, there it is again. Now I'm alone. It's up to me to find the cure. If they knew what the virus was being caused by animals, it could hurt me a lot. I'm already used to it. I've spent my entire life surrounded by animals. I guess that's why I'm not as affected as the others. Even Angel, who was also infected, bit me yet since this happened, and to this day nothing has happened to me. If they find out about this, they would use me for who knows what things. I don't want them to have me as a poor little laboratory mouse. Pinky already knew about this. She is not stupid at all. It is obvious that she wanted to remove her suspicions by hurting me more. Seeing no effect, I don't know. Flashback. I remember her look at that moment. Was she really going crazy already? Did she know I was lying? If I tricked every pony, would I really be a good pony? If I killed everyone, would I be really be a good pony? Wow. Interesting. This is a very interesting story. And the spots on your paws. Are you infected, Applejack? What? That? What stains are you talking about? Ah, it's just dirt. It's not infection stains. Don't worry, I haven't even had contact with the birds. I thought you were infected, but apparently I see you better than you were before. Rambodash no longer suffers from insomnia. Yeah, I'm better. I can even sleep at night. You don't know how satisfying it is to sleep after so long without doing so. I'm glad to hear, Dashy. You don't know how worried I was about you. There's Rarity's cat. It didn't take long for Pinkie Pie to start devouring Rarity. 
desperately tearing off pieces of her body, even though most of it was full of those disgusting worms. Ew. Pinky just babbled while her friend's blood fell from her hungry snout. Holy shit. This is fucked up. Applejack has wiped off the dirt. If this makes you feel safer, I'm clean. I don't have anything apart from I'm used to mud. It's not that big of a deal. Rainbow stares at her for a few seconds. Thank you too. You know, for this, for a moment, I thought you wouldn't let me in. I honestly don't think I'm infected. I was just tired based on that. I started doing things I shouldn't have. But now I'm calmer thanks to you. And what do you say about hunger? You were hungry? I hadn't eaten anything since the beginning. I realized that even the food was rotten. It was infected with larvae. That's why I was hungry, I hadn't wanted to eat. But apparently your crops are the only thing without that shit. And what do you say about the rest and our friends? You have only seen... You have been the only one I have seen in all this time. Honestly, I don't know. I just remember that Fluttershy was with Discord before the accident, and that Pinkie Pie kept asking about Opal. I don't understand why she kept asking about Rarity's cat before this happened. Anyway, you know she's always been kind of a weirdo. I don't think that's the way to refer to her. She's your friend. She is also your friend. Back to Pinky. This music is disturbing as hell. Pinky's going feral. That's what someone said in the comments. Pinky Pie watched blood fall from her snout and her paws were covered in the blood of her dear friend. What has happened, Rarity? Rarity's body gave off a disgusting smell. The larvae from her body were scattered everywhere. Opal? Opal? Opal, damn, did I kill her for her cat? Don't think you'll be the only one who gets the truth out, out of Rarity's stomach. I still have Fluttershy's sewer mouse, mouse left. What the fuck? <laughs> Ew. So Pinky's gone full psychotic here. Like, Pinky's completely gone. Holy shit. I wonder what's going on out there. Will my friends be okay? What will happen to all my dreams? All the goals I wanted to achieve went down the drain thanks to this. What if this keeps getting worse? What if all the ponies die in the end? I hate to say it, but I'm so scared now all I have is Applejack. I know you're watching me now. I know you see everything that happens. I'm not crazy, I know you exist and you're seeing me now. Applejack saw the light coming from under the door of the room where Rainbow Dash was. She's still awake so late at night? What the fuck? This is Twilight reporting my observations. Twilight, Spike has no eyes and she's gonna lose her eyes. Since Fluttershy left, the worms began to eat me up inside. It's like it was a matter of hours. So if someone infects you, you are totally lost. I suppose it depends on how the other person is infected. The degree of this would also affect the other person. But Spike was also infected, so I was living with an infected person. An infected a person attacked me and I was with a suspiciously infected person for a long time. Fluttershy. I guess that's why I am the way I am now. This is driving me crazy. I've started eating myself. Twilight looks irritated. Spike, shut up. This son of a bitch could stand it. Couldn't stand it and ripped out his eyes. And I ate them myself. What the fuck? This is... This is disgusting. Oh my god. Where are Princess Celestia and Princess Luna? Jujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujuj
<laughs> I can't anymore. I will tear off my own skin with my teeth. Oh, there's, um, I see Zakora, I see Discord, and I see Cadence. This is the last straw. So I can't read that. I honestly can't read that. I think that says, yeah, I can't read that. The princess simply left and Princess Luna forced Luna to go with her. Or Princess Celestia forced Luna to go with her. We have to help the poor people. They are desperate. If we don't do anything, they will end up killing each other. And how are we supposed to stop a virus that is invested? Even in food, we would have to destroy everything and start everything again. Even the animals. But I guess that's not the idea. We can't do anything at the moment if we don't know how to start. What worries me the most is my little Fluttershy. I left her alone for this. Don't worry, you just have to look for someone who has been infected and does not suffer symptoms. Which happens to be Fluttershy. That will mean that he is immune and can serve as a cure for all this. But it will be difficult to find someone among so many ponies. Okay. So, I'm getting it from the first comment here. Someone said, they better not kill Fluttershy for the cure. But I'm assuming this is where it's going. Stop! My god. Oh, it's the smile song. <laughs> um, hello, it's been a few days now, and this is what I have collected so far. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do it with the smile song. Even though I love the smile song, I can't do it. I can't actually listen to it right now because it's distracting me. The hunger that the ponies suffer is too great. First, they deal, feel a great desire to eat. Then they start trying to eat others, and then they start devouring themselves. These worms can reach your brain and start eating it, which would be a more advanced infection. I have seen that the first thing they eat is around the face area. But if you are only injured on the face by the larva, there is not a way to solve it, since it is not something so advanced. The problem would be when they eat you from the inside. Oh wait, Pinkamina's in the background. Hold up, does she like... Oh, she appears here, hold up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For example, Spike is already quite advanced. I guess the worms must have already eaten his brain. On the other hand, Twilight still has time to solve it, if she lasts longer and doesn't lose her sanity. Pinky's approaching! Pinky's approaching! Fluttershy senses someone's presence, but what the? Pinky attacks Fluttershy from behind, leaving a wound on her wings. Fluttershy acts quickly and takes out a shotgun she had kept with her. Fluttershy shoots. Fluttershy stuns Pinkie Pie, who has received a big shot in the chest. Fluttershy escapes. What the fuck? What the fuck? Rarity's up? Why is that such a dope design, though? That is a design like no other. She looks so cool. But I get she's fucked. Rarity's status is unknown. The damn sewing machine had to be of some use. The bitch at least had some compassion in giving me the absurd idea while I was dying of pain. Sorry, Rarity. I don't know what's wrong with me. Of course you know perfectly what happens to you, Pinkie Pie. Stay away from me. Disgusting. And I didn't. I didn't kill your cat, Rarity. I didn't eat her delicious meat. Let me... You let me show you that it's not like that. Oh, Paul Cat, be inside you. Rarity writhed in pain, small whimpers coming out of her mouth. Help me. Just sew up your damn body, Rarity. Do you want me to help you? I will sew every damn piece of skin. You are disgusting, you damn... You... You're disgusting and damn skin. Man, they're like hostile. I don't think I can play this music. Rambadash no longer suffers from dementia and insomnia. So she's good now. Hello, it's been a while now. How are you feeling? Applejack spoke in a mocking tone. The truth is, I see you better. You are not as emaciated as before. Ha ha ha. Her health is 78%. Her hunger is 50 and her tiredness is 20. So she's better. Well, I feel better. I'm just a little hungry. Do you have something to eat? And by the way, I wanted to thank you again. Without you, I might be eating other ponies now. Ha ha ha. Regarding that, recently there were infected ponies near the place. It would be better to get equipped and leave before it's too late. With Twilight. Is that Spike? Oh, Spike! Spike got eaten by Twilight! 
Dear Princess Celestia, I inform you that the fucking spike is made shit. What? That the fucking spike is made shit? Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, shut, Spike, shut up. That's actually really funny. Shut up, Spike. I, I don't know what that is. By the way, did you know that the immense hunger that ponies suffer is due to worms? Those disgusting little bugs begin to eat what you eat to the point that they begin to completely devour your stomach. That also means that if we eat something infected with these parasites, they will go directly to our stomach and it will be easier for them to start devouring us. What if I eat an animal with parasites? It means that it is worse damage for our body. Ha <laughs> what a fool. Why are you recording me? That's not creepy. Fluttershy is bleeding to death. Damn, how it hurts. Health is 38%, but she's, in, she's also in a lot of pain. I'll have to cut off my wings at this rate. I'll end up bleeding to death if I don't do anything. It's no use if I'm immune. In this case, the blood won't stop coming out just because of that. Fluttershy hears footstep sounds. Is there anyone else here? I think that's Starlight Glimmer, right? Fluttershy? Are you infected? They just broke my wings. Do you know that if you continue like this, you will end up dying? If you want, I can help you. But there is no solution for your wings. They will end up rotting due to all the infections that exist at the moment. It is dangerous to get hurt now. But place it if you want. I will cut your wings and bandage you. I have medicine to reduce. If that's the only thing I can do to not die, I guess I'll have to give it a give in. Good. I will be careful. Starlight takes out a blade that she brought with her, puts some alcohol on it, and goes to Fluttershy. Starlight begins to cut Fluttershy's wings. Fluttershy begins to scream desperately from the pain, feeling the great sharpness of the blade and the burning of the alcohol. Fluttershy wreathes in pain and asks Starlight to be quicker when it comes to cutting. Starlight has clipped Fluttershy's wings. I can get that's probably traumatizing, huh? Rarity, even though she was half gone, without half of her organs, a few broken ribs, I don't know, I can't focus with the really loud rock music, of her organs, a few broken ribs, even with pieces of skin hanging off, she got really determinedly covered her body and her neck with beautiful fur. I still don't understand how I'm still alive. Will this be a morbid way of solving this problem? I just know that I have unfinished business with that disgusting woman. Wherever you are, I'll find you, Pinkie Pie, and I'll tear your skin again and again. If you run away, I'll look for you again and again and again. Hello, hello. I have new information. Ha 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 ha. If the parasites are removed from the area, they die instantly, and the area will simply be left with their wound, unless they have laid their eggs there, and you have not removed them. But if the wound is exposed, it will still be infected again. So you have to clean and close the wound to be free of danger. That is just one way to stop the infection, although it is seriously painful. That was my research today. Stop me, fucker. Oh, is it? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, it looks like she's... She's tearing the worms out of her fucking eyes. Ew. How do you feel now, Flutters? I understand that it may be painful for you, and more so because they were your wings you were born with them and now i had to cut them off is so i'm sorry fluttershy just looked at starlight her eyes tired from crying so much don't worry Meow. oh this must be uh ignore the talking in the background my my family talks too fucking much um that looks like pinky I don't know if it's just me. That looks like a pinky haircut right there. Could just be me, though. Fluttershy is confused. Wasn't it easier to use your horn? Well, Flutter, I have bad news. Magic doesn't work. It's as if something in the air is stopping the expulsion of magic in our horns. I'm with Sunset, and she can't use her magic either. As the days went by, we could perform less and less magic. And now we just can't. I wonder if all of us who perform magic can't right now. Shit. 
If Discord can no longer perform magic now, how will I know where he is? Will he still have the ability to do it? Is something wrong? You are very quiet. Oh, sorry, I was thinking things. What if I run away? Random noises. Oh, I got a little, like, thing here. That says chapter 27. Hold on one second. I am back, and I had to do something. I had to, like, adjust the noise in the outside. Um, basically, my little cousin's doors was open, and my mic's picking up his voice, so I asked him if he could close the door. So we're back. And my fat ass is out of breath. But we're going to continue. It looks like we got a video for Chapter 27, so... <laughs> my Little Worms presents... Sister, do you know I love you a lot? I'm so hungry. Bring me something, okay? Please. Okay, but behave while I'm gone, sweetie belle. I hope you behave as well. Rarity went to order food from Pinkie Pie, who was working. She even invited her to eat with them. Oh, I, I don't have to pause. It actually lasts a minute. Dear, I'm home. I invited Pinkie to eat with us. What the? It wasn't picky or it was Sweetie Bell? What the fuck? Rainbow and Applejack had already left the cabin a while ago. With the infection of stopping, or the intention of stopping the infection from getting closer to where they were staying. They're, they look pretty healthy. Health is 90%. Dash, we have to find my family. I know they must be somewhere. I know they are strong. She's also pretty healthy too. But do you at least have some idea of where they should be? They could be anywhere. At this rate, we will end up finding Princess Celestia before your brothers. Now, Rainbow, be more positive. Along the way, we can find survivors. People who would be great help. Just try not to hurt yourself, Dashie. The air is heavy. Insects even stick to the skin like honey. I don't understand why would some larvas be affecting the air. I don't know. Maybe it's not even the cause of those larvae. A few hours before. Follow me, Fluttered. The place I mentioned is only a few steps away. Until they finally arrive. Oh, she looks awesome in this. That's an awesome design for Sunset. Fluttershy? No. Sunset Shimmer looks closely at Fluttershy, noticing her severed wings. Oh, are you okay? What happened? I mean by your wings. I had to cut them off before the infection spread further. I even put stitches sewing the wound. It is the only way so far that the larvae did not get into her body and start eating her alive. Or not necessarily because of the larvae. Thousands of infections would have gotten into an open wound. It was necessary to do it, but now it's fine, right, Shy? And you? Aren't supposed to live in that other alternate world. What are you doing here? Huh, <laughs> long story. Hmm. A few days ago. A message from Princess Celestia. Dear Sunset Shimmer, we need your help here in the pony world. A tragedy has happened. A virus is affecting the ponies. We even we have even noticed that the magic is not working well. It is now or never, or most likely the portal to your world will close completely. I await your response, Sunset. I and Luna fully trust you. At Princess Celestia. What the? Will Twilight be okay? I'm in her debt for everything, and if she's in danger now, I need to help her. Twilight's dead. Twilight was completely crazy. The larvae were... Ugh, eating only half of her face, leaving her eye protruding from her face. Apparently, she was aware of what she was doing, having seen Spike die, and to top it off, start eating him and experimenting with him. He was driving her crazy. The larvae were inside her brain. The fact that she was still conscious led her to fall into dementia. There are no sensible explanations as to why it has only been affecting her brain and not her entire body. 
The rest of the infected usually suffer from complete amnesia, but Twilight was another case. Twilight doesn't understand. On chapter 30. Cutting her wings, eh? You were smarter than I thought, Starlight. Much smarter. No wonder Fluttershy is so naive. Fluttershy and you? Aren't you supposed to live in that other alternate world? What are you doing here? Honey, don't you think the dough looks strange? The smell is something. It's not the first thing I found the same smell. When did you order the things? It must be in your imagination. The merchandise was recently released from what they told me. Okay. Dear, taking advantage of the fact that you are here, I would like to ask if you would like to go to lunch with me and Sweetie Belle. Sure, you know that I would love rare. You know, wait. Sure, you know well that I would love Rarity. Oh, you know that I would love Rarity. Okay, I'm going out for a while. Okay, be careful. So I'm guessing they were. This is how the virus started. The food ended up having something bad in it. She's eating a cupcake. Oh dear, sorry. Be quiet. The back room's noise. Fluttershy. I have to talk something with Starlight in private. All right, Flutter, can you wait here? It doesn't bother you, right? Not at all. Great, wait here. Starlight and Sunset went to another room, leaving Fluttershy alone in the main room. Did she really believe your wings show? What if she had discovered that you had other intentions? But she didn't, which is the important thing. And how were you able to confirm that the girl is really immune? There were larvae on her wings, and they were all dead. Nothing was going to happen to her if I didn't remove her wings. The wound was going to heal on its own, and she would be fine. But apparently she believed everything I told her. Well done, Starlight. Did you bring the wings? Yes, here you go. Ew. Perfect. With this, we can get a possible cure. But this girl's wings alone won't be enough. You will have to work with her again, Starlight. Again? Oh, they gotta hurt Flutters. Hello. I have been thinking about it seriously. I'm gonna pause this because I feel like that's copyrighted. Um, I have been thinking about it seriously, very seriously, in the most serious ways that can exist. I'm going to go to hell. I'm hungry, too hungry. And that son of a bitch Spike tastes like shit. That I ended up vomiting his remains. And I ate my vomit, even the same shit that comes out of my ass. Oh God, it was never a good idea to be here. So I'll be fine. Sorry, Spike, I'll abandon you here for being a son of a great, son of the great shit. Stop recording me, Twilight was, has hit the camera. Twilight broke the lock on the bedroom door. Twilight escaped. Oh. Haha, -ha, you're not serious, are you? I'm serious, Starlight. Do as I tell you. We'll use her as a lab rat. And if it gets too complicated for you, I'll do it for myself. Sunset Shimmer has been shot. What the fuck? Sunset Shimmer notices Fluttershy's presence. Bitch, how dare you? Don't try to escape, Shy. I will break every damn bone in your legs if necessary. Sunset runs after Fluttershy, even after being shy. And Fluttershy having recently bought Flo's wings, the adrenaline ran through both of their bodies. Fluttershy trips over furniture. Sunset lunges at her. Fluttershy has been captured. Fluttershy wakes up hours later. She had been knocked unconscious. Dear God. Until you finally wake up, Shy Shy. Sunset Shimmer had a butcher knife at her side. See this? With this, I will take out every piece of your body. Don't worry, darling. I will be gentle. Fluttershy makes sounds desperately. She can't scream. Her mouth has been covered. Don't think I'm doing this because I have something against you. I just want to help a friend. Only you have the possibility to help her. Come on, don't be selfish, dear Shy. It's not like your life matters much. Well, enough talk. Let's start with this just you and me. Oh, dear God. Sensitive content. Look, Shy, this will be your new friend, haha. Why are you like this? You know well that this is all your fault. 
you are completely selfish. Have you seen the other ponies, Fluttershy, to your friends, all the people of our chaos, having the cure you still decided to keep quiet and not say anything? Don't think that I am the bad guy in this story. You are the disgusting rat that has no compassion for others. It doesn't matter if you die along the way. I will use your whole body until I find a cure. I just want to help Twilight, which you couldn't even do. You are so disgusting that even knowing you're immune, you don't help anyone. Just a little blood wasn't enough, Fluttershy, but you were still afraid. That's why I do to you what I'm doing to you. Enough, Sunset. You've come too far. Starlight, you son of a bitch. She's holding her at knife point. An infected pony is nearby. Shit. They are speaking in whispers. How will we get to the other side? There is an infected pony there. We cannot make even the slightest sound or it will attack us. Does that thing have two heads? Can the infected mutate? How disgusting. And we have not seen the rest of the infected. He had discovered a new type of infected. I don't think he's leaving the place. He's been there for a while. Apparently he's eating a dead animal or something. Pass me your knife apple, I will attack it from behind. Are you sure, Dashy? That thing is really ugly. Calm down, I'll be fine. Applejack gives her knife to Rainbow. Rainbow Dash attacks the infected pony from behind. Dashy? Believe me, it was extremely disgusting. A lot of larvae, worms, parasites came out. I don't know, but a lot came out. There was even excrement behind him and in his mouth, a disgusting smell. I can't imagine how hungry they can even feel to even eat that. Applejack cloaks closely at Rainbow Dash. Oh, she got infected. What happened to your ear? I told you to be careful. It wouldn't take long for the wound to become infected. The guy was already super advanced in his affection. You'll have to cut it. You are crazy. There's nothing else you can do. You don't know how much it will hurt me to do this to you, Dashy. More sensitive content. Of course. Rainbow Dash returns Applejack's knife. Applejack approaches Rainbow Dash with knife in hand and amputates her ear. Applejack disinfects his wound and bandages our, the area completely. Are you okay? Sorry you had to take a risk for both and you ended up losing an ear. I'm fine if you are. Ha, huh, so you are so brave you to, to have risked yourself like that, Dash. Rainbow Dash, lock, Rainbow Dash laughs mockingly. I can't talk anymore. It calms me to be the one who lost my ear. Ha ha ha. Applejack kisses Rainbow in gratitude for her bravery. We should go, haha, <laughs> it's already getting dark. Both leave the place with the intention of looking for a place to take refuge for the night. Congratulations! Applejack and Rainbow Dash have found a gun along with ammo while walking. I can't read that up there, the text is in the way. I think it says, do you by any chance know how to use a weapon? Yes, I already have experience with them. God, you impress me. Even at the end of the world, you are incredible. Ha, so cute. Applejack and Rainbow Dash continue moving forward. Unfortunately, it became dark along the way, and they couldn't find shelter. Oh, all the infected. Brother, where are you? Apple Bloom, you're here. Sister? Calm down, darling. Your sister is already here. I thought I would never see you again. Apple Bloom runs off to where Applejack is. Oh, God. We found you. Calm down. That's disgusting. Shit, there are more and more infected right now. You two will leave. I don't want you to be here. I will use the weapon. I'll buy you time so you can run as far as you can, understand? I don't want butts. Apple. I'll be fine. Take care of my sister, okay? Rainbow Dash grabbed Apple Bloom, and with tears in her eyes, they both ran as fast as they could. Applejack had no mercy when attacking. Even though she was nervous with her eyes full of tears, she defended her beloved and her dear sister. Dear Dash, you will be my last sigh and my last breath, and without a doubt, the last beats of my heart are all yours. They were Applejack's last words, and since unfortunately for her, the infected were already very close. Too close. And Applejack died at their hands. That Why would Ra Applejack have to do that, bro? 
Just all of you run. <laughs> oh, they got derpy. Get away. Damn, how annoying. Apple? You're all shit. Is it you, Apple? Yes, it's definitely you. What the fuck happened to you? Twilight had for a few moments regained her sanity. Applejack? Twilight? Applejack responded with her strength. Twilight, help me. And who the hell are you? Apparently, Twilight wasn't very sane and left her lying there alone. Completely alone, dying in that place with most of her organs outside her body. Are you doing... Are you going to stop this sunset? Are you on her side now? What a hypocrite you are, Starlight. I remind you that it was you who cut off her wings. It was you who deceived her. If you hadn't, if you had not wanted to do this from the beginning, you would have told her the other way to do things. Starlight brings the knife closer to Sunset's throat. Because I didn't think you'd get this far, Sunset. That's the problem. I thought just the wings would be more than enough. But you were being very extreme. What is the need to want to cut off her entire body? You said it herself. Or you said it yourself. Only blood samples were enough. Nothing more than that. Do you really think she would give you her blood? She's selfish. She wouldn't even give that, yes. If it wasn't the good way, it will have to be the bad way. That's how things are in the shitty world. I shouldn't even be here because of damn Princess Celestia who doesn't want to take care of her own problems. Even so, I came to help Twilight. That's the only thing that matters to me. That was my reason for coming here. If it hadn't been for her, I wouldn't be here. So stop getting involved in my plan, Starlight. You are ruining everything. I came to this world for one reason, and I will fulfill it no matter what. Do you understand me? Please, Sunset, don't make me do this. Stop being such a coward for once. If you want to kill me, do it. Now I understand that you never gave a shit. Oh, Luna and, uh, okay. Princess Celestia, let me help you. Let me help. You brought me here only for your convenience. I didn't mind risking it for my own people. Everyone must be very scared. What they need most in these times is someone who can help them. We must be that someone for once in our lives. Enough, Luna. Don't you understand? Everyone would attack you. They would demand things from you. Even people who are not infected would become aggressive because they did not see what they asked for. Where do you plan to do everything they want? Do you really think you are capable? No, you are not at all. We don't even have magic to do anything. The best thing we can do is run away before they attack us. I brought you here with me because I don't want anything bad to happen to you, Luna. But Cadence was more stubborn than you. Have you ever wondered where her husband and daughter are? Of course you don't know because you lived in a bubble. They are both dead. What? Caden stayed there because she didn't want to let go of the corpse of her family. She is a mother who lost her daughter and her husband at the same time. That's why she is there. I saw her hiding their bodies in another room. Nobody is a saint in this shitty world, Luna. But this didn't have to be like this. If only we had done something in time. But we didn't, and that's the harsh reality, so that's enough, Luna. Oh, uh, there's no more. Shit. That's all we got for now. Um, this story is insane. Twilight going absolutely insane, eating Spike. Fucking Sweetie Belle and Pinkie Pie eating everything, or Sweetie Belle eating the cat. Rarity's design is fucking sick. So is Sunset's, but... Sunset trying to hold Fluttershy at knife point and tie her up and gonna like just purely use her as a lab rat. Applejack sacrificing herself for Rainbow Dash and Apple Bloom to survive. That's insane. If more chapters comes out about this, let me know because I'm genuinely curious about this. I like this story. I think it's good. It's very fucked up though, like very fucked up. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine. That's all I got to say. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck this in life. I'm just too like two eyes in the back of my head. I'm watching everything you're doing instead of being here with me. Being here with me. I got to
hit you twice, so you know I ain't scared of it. I can give a fuck about it.